Okay, let us move on now to uh, a discussion of Japanese personhood. Here you are working as a Japanese engineer. We've seen, a f we've recounted a fair number of details. We've presented some vignettes of working in, as an engineer. How does this interact? These are the challenges that you face as an engineer. In interact with challenges you face just as a person. And indeed, from where does this concept of household come? I think it's crucially important to understand the, the Japanese images of personhood in order to see um, how working as an, an engineer in Japan differs from working as an engineer in the United States. I want to introduce four Japanese words. The first is ie, transliterated or written as ie. Ie, pronounced ie. All Japanese are members of ie, members of a household. Now, it's important to see, and it's important to see the difference between the concept of a household and the concept of family. Family is about people. I'm a member of a family. You're members of you're a member of families, and you have family relations, extended family, nuclear family. You, and the family is a, a set of relationships among people. A household includes a set of relationships among people and the property that goes along with those people. The household is, in a way, what's called a corporate group. It is a, an organization that includes both people and the property that go along with it. As a Japanese person, you are a member of a household. Your position is, is defined in terms of, your, uh, of that household. Think about, for example, in the West, what's known as primogeniture. Uh, I asked this in class, what's primogeniture? And a student raised his hand and said, the firstborn son gets all the stuff. That's basically it. Um, the West is built on the concept of individualism with property being owned by individuals. Primogeniture is a system whereby in a family, the property owned by the, by the parent is passed on to the firstborn son. And in, in the case of Great Britain, the property here was land. Uh, in the case of uh, primogeniture, it depends upon the concept of an individual who is able to possess or own property, and, uh, the, and the property goes along with the person and then gets passed on to the next person. In the case of the EA, in the case of the Japanese household, we don't have people owning property. We have people having position inside of a household that has both, both uh, humans and property together. And so, while it is the case that the firstborn son becomes special, it is not that he gets, takes over. It is not that he gains po the possession of the household. Rather, he moves up in the household. So where in primogeniture, you might think about um, property being passed from individual to individual. Think in the Japanese case of the household as the stable entity and people moving through it. You become part of the household. Now, this household provides not only you with position, but also provides you with powerful uh, sense of connectedness. And here I introduce the second word, uh, uchi, which is translated as a center of belonging. The household, the EA, provides you with uchi, or a center of belonging. You belong to the household. You are part of the household. You are defined in relationship to it. And remember, if you're, put, if you're kicked out of the household, that's like the worst possible thing. Take this image of household, just as it is presented in, in, in the film, and carry it over to other dimensions. You go to work in a corporation, you're joining a household. You go to college, which is this recess between one household and the next. So the corporation, think about the corporation as a household that includes both people and property move through the corporation to the nation as a whole, now more coherently organized as a nation state. The nation, in a way, is a household that includes both people and property. And you are a member, you contribute, you have a responsibility and obligations to the nation as a whole. This may help you to understand why, for example, Japanese corporations collaborate to an extent that is impossible in the United States, which celebrates enlightened self-interest. We know that we're supposed to do what's best for ourselves, and by doing what's best for ourselves will be best for the whole. The Japanese are working 
uh, out of a sense of obligation and commitment to the corporate whole, in this case now the nation state. And finally, think about now the globe, the world as household. The Japanese will say uh, sincerely that they are working for, for uh, global well-being. And Americans will say, no, you are not. Uh, you're trying to kick our butts, just as we're trying to kick yours. Well, in the Japanese context, the, the, uh, the obligations that people have extend from the very local household all the way up to the world as a whole. And so the, the building of connections and now the internationalization of build business is part of building, is, is, part of, is part of understanding themselves as participating in a global household. We've encountered a number of examples of the EA in, our, in the film and in, in reading. As I said, the image of rural life presented is a very good example of the household. Remember the, the gender relations uh, and the meetings that took place? Women were very animated, very um, uh, participated fully. They're fulfilling their obligations as part of the household. Um, and as you think about yourself as moving through the household, Remember uh, the images of, of bowing. As you move to higher positions in the household, you have greater sense of responsibility. Um, remember the discussions that took place at, at lunch with this one young engineer speaking with his manager. Uh, it would, the, the film pointed out that if um, that the, the engineer would go to his boss for his, his advice about marriage, and if there was a problem in a marriage, the boss would be the first to know. Picture yourself as going to your boss to talk about your marriage. I mean, can you believe that? Uh, I had a friend who, uh, who worked for Ford, a formerly a professor at, at uh, this university, who uh, described a, a friend of his who uh, was in the United States for a while and he had plans to get married. His uh, supervisor suggested that the marriage might not be a good one and suggested someone else. So the man changed his mind and married the more appropriate person. So uh, as you move through the household, you gain responsibility, you gain uh, authority. Uh, and and you're, when you're working in, the, in an engineering firm, uh, the, the discussions can be um, very much one-sided because the, the person of higher status by virtue of age and time and job deserves that respect and authority. When you're on, on the job and let's say you're called to uh, by the by the cacho, by called by the section manager, and uh, uh, when the section manager wants to share with you some criticism, you'll be called to the desk and uh, and you'll stand there with, with your head down and your hands behind your back while the the cacho berates you, sometimes shaking a finger in your face. It would be unthinkable for you to rebut what's said by the by the uh, by the cacho. We remember the example of the engineer who worked all night to uh, repair some malfunctioning equipment, uh, fulfilling his obligation to the group, uh, worried about whether the equipment would work, finally gets it done, but works all night and doesn't have time to go home and take a shower, doesn't have time to go home and change, to change clothes, and uh, the next morning his section manager berates him for having dirty clothes. One of the engineers in, our, uh, in the article by Gary, Gary Legg, Mary Mollison, recalls walking down, uh, walking down the hallway and a, uh, a bucho st uh, stops to, to ask a question, both to her and the uh, Japanese engineer with whom she's standing. The, uh, the young engineer falls to pieces, sweat pouring down. Um, um, Mary Mollison looks the engineer directly in the eye in an American way, but the, the Japanese, um, to be confronted by a senior uh, worker with, a, with a even a question was, was highly threatening to this person.